Okay, my van. Um, another short video about bipolar. Um, about blips, really. Um, I've had a few blips lately. Minor blips. Sunday night, I ended up with an upset stomach and being up on and off half the night. Yesterday, I had to briefly go into work just to get a bit of something quickly done, but ended up having to go home um, with an upset stomach and cancelled a drumming lesson. My upset stomach's carried on a little bit into today. Um, my mood is lifted. Last night, I actually started to question because the upset stomach had made me feel really rubbish and I felt like I was slipping. Um, I felt a bit depressed, felt lethargic, spent pretty much all day in bed. I did bugger all. Um, I forced myself to go out last night because I needed to get some, some money out because we're having a log delivery today. So I made myself go out and do that. That helped me feel better. Um, but blips happen. Lately, I've had a few blips. I've got over them pretty quickly. Um, probably because of... Excuse me, a bit of hiccups and things. Um, because of where I'm at. Um, saying um a lot. I tend to question things more now. I tend to question what I'm feeling and why I'm feeling it. Is there a reason? If I'm feeling shit, is it because I'm tired? Um, quite often it is. Um, for a few nights late last week, my sleep was getting a bit, a little bit rubbish. I've been working really hard, trying to get a few jobs done. Um, you know, you know what it's, well, maybe some of you know what it's like. You run your own business. So every, the buck stop, stops with you. Other trades can interfere with what you're doing. Um, countless, countless things. So I'm a builder. Um, and those things play on me too. Um, if other trades are holding me up or anything you know if I'm trying to work around other trades and I'm not feeling great you know and I don't want to be around people and I've got other people on site that affects me sometimes I'll just say oh you guys carry on I don't want to hold you up and I'll sort off out of the way even if I could get on um, just to have that headspace uh, there's always something else I can be doing whether it's pricing bills you know getting those estimates out there and the bills get the money in um, so blips happen the biggest thing is, is not letting a blip grow. Often when I feel crap or when I start to feel really good, you know, I just want to ride that wave. I don't even question it. Um, I say I don't. I used to not question it. And the depression would just seem to just, as I was feeling a bit rubbish, I would think, oh God, now I'm feeling rubbish. I can't get that job finished on time. That's me. I'm going to overrun, which means I'm making less money. Making less money means I can't afford this. Oh God, how am I going to pay the mortgage this month? And something this big becomes something bigger and bigger and bigger. And actually, it's not even that big. It's it's that big. I don't know if you can see that. That big. But boof, blow it out of proportion. Completely blow it out of proportion. And that blip grows. Any of you who possibly are watching this with bipolar know that just the slightest thing at the wrong time can really make a mood change. The one thing that I've really, really learned to do is question that. I know that I'm going to get unwell again. Um, I've been told by the psychologist you'll, you won't get as unwell as you have been in the past and so on. I'm not saying I won't, but if you can catch things, and if I can catch things quick enough, and notice those little things, and just think, hang on, it could be a blip. Yesterday I couldn't really read. Um, I started reading stuff about UFOs and things, and uh, I got about 19 pages into the book yesterday evening, and I thought, what the fuck am I doing? I'm going to be reading about UFOs, and it's going to go round and round and round in my head. So I actually made a, a, a list of things or on, on my iPad in my notes, things I need to do, which is not get caught up in things. It's going to be hard because I can add to that list while I feel OK. When I feel crap, it's going to be hard to remember to look at that list. But it's things like nipping in the bud, those obsessional thoughts, um, nipping things in the bud 
where you're going off on a tangent, you know, you want to be here and focused, you know, have focus. But something's like, oh, UFOs, oh, aliens, blah, blah, blah. No, not that it's about aliens. I think it's, uh, <laughs> here we go. I think UFOs are probably man-made, most of them, secret technology. But that's a whole other thing. I've had to shut that down. Um, countless other things I've had to shut down. Um, but a few good things have happened lately. Um, I've had some contact with someone who I didn't think I'd have contact with again, um, which has been good. That's that's actually I did I, yeah I I didn't think I would actually have contact with them, um, and they they got back in touch with me and it was it was good it was good to 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 know that. Um, the other weird thing is, is this is probably the longest my hair has been for, like my hairline's receding, but it's always been like that. Um, this is the longest my hair's been for probably three, four years. Um, usually it gets nearly here and I crop it short because I'd got it into my head that I only feel really good when I've got short hair. And when I felt crap, if my hair was a bit longer, I'd be like, my hair's a bit longer. That's why I'm feeling crap and I'd have to shave it off, shave all my beard off. And if I felt really iffy, I'd actually razor blade my hair off so I was completely bald. Um, just a completely potty thing. Uh, completely potty. Um, I'm starting to ramble on about crap, so I'm going to shut down in a second. But the biggest thing is, recovery isn't a constant level, but most people who don't have bipolar, their days aren't completely level. They have, you know, th things can affect everybody. And I would say my blips at the moment are pretty much normal moods, but they're, they're, they're you know, at each end they're edging on the side of they could tip, but I'm keeping them in check and kind of bringing it back so that, you know, I'm getting a little bit of this going on. But mostly it's pretty good. Um, I'm going to shut up right now because I'm just going to ramble on. But yeah, blips happen when you're in recovery, but don't dwell on them. Just ride them out, question them, um, make notes while you're in that state of things that you ought to be avoiding. On your phone, on a piece of paper, in a diary, in a book. I do have a book as well that I jot things in when I remember. Make those notes and make them in something that's really accessible that you'll rem try and remember to go and have a look when you're feeling like you know a blip is going further or if you've gone a bit further um yeah i just anyone watching this with bipolar i hope that you're well or if you're not well that you're getting some help and you can get into recovery yourselves